So I want to mention a couple things about timeouts. Timeouts is an underutilized tool in relationship. And people think of timeouts in sports or parenting kids, giving your kids a timeout, when really the parents are often the ones that need the timeout. So this is a, there's two kinds of timeouts I want to talk about. One is what I just said. When we need a timeout in conflict, we can just do the big T, hold on, I need to take a break, I need a timeout for a minute. And the purpose of the timeout is it's a boundary, so I get to practice my boundaries. And then I get to go be with my experience, which is going to get me somewhere. If I don't go be with my experience, I'm not going anywhere in my pattern in our dynamic. That's not going to change for me. So timeout, critical tool, critical boundary practice. I go be with my experience. More to say on that in different videos. So that's, it's an awesome tool and most people get this, hold on, and they respect that when we throw it up. It does something to that front part of our brain, especially when we see the hand signals. So I highly recommend using the hand signals if it's heated, go for it. Second kind of timeout, this one's very underutilized. This is when someone is just talking at you over and over and just talking, talking, and they do what my friend Decker calls captive audience. They've got you, they're kind of holding you hostage a little bit by talking and we, you know, in this culture we're trained to be polite and listen to people and so we just sit there quietly and listen. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, uh -huh. But pretty soon we're checking out or if we start to get angry, you ever had that happen? You start to get really irritable and you want out, you're like, how the hell do I get out of here? And maybe you look at your watch and you throw in one of these like excuses like, uh, you know what, gotta run, good to chat with you and you bail. And a more direct way is to call a timeout. Timeout, hey, hold on, just one second, uh-uh, stop. I'm getting lost here. And if I really care about them, it's feedback to them. Hey, I'm not with you and you lost me about, or I lost you about a minute ago. And I really want to hear you and I want to understand you. And when you talk at me like that, I feel like there's no room for me to respond over here. And then I, then I like get nice and I get quiet and polite and kind of start to shut down or I go away. And I don't think you want to have that impact on me. And then what's cool about this one is if we're in a group, we can give this person the same kind of feedback over and over, over time, and then they get that, oh my gosh, I didn't know I was even having this kind of impact on people. Because people are unconscious. They're just, they're just, they've hit the uh, snooze button and they're just going in their pattern. Because that's what they did, is they just talk a lot. Well, it's our job, if we give a shit about them and we love them, to say, uh-uh, stop that. I don't, that's not you, this is your, you're in your strategy. I want to know you, and I want to know what's going on with you right now. Then all of a sudden we're in an intimate dance together and wow, do things spice up in that moment and, and get electric because we're dealing with truth again. We're back in the moment as opposed to jabber, jabber, jabber and me being nice. So utilize timeouts.